right guys, so here's the deal. While I've got the SSB bar out, I know I've mentioned how I hold the SSB bar before in previous videos, but I've never actually showed you guys. So I'm going to take the time while I'm using it to get warmed up here to show you exact, exact, exactly what I'm talking about when I say I'm trying to spread the handles apart. Now, while you're holding something here, your body is naturally inclined to kind of put your shoulders a little bit forward to reach out here. So to counter that, I pull the bar like I'm trying to spread the handles open, like Superman ripping open his shirt. Not down, not up, not pushing it back, not pulling it forward. I'm spreading it apart to get my back engaged. Now, I'm not just going straight back like I'm shrugging or, or, or anything like that. What I'm doing is I'm rolling my shoulders back on my lats so everything's tight, kind of like a bench position. Now my shoulders are on my lats. So I'm here and I'm pulling out on that bar so it doesn't move, it stays where I want it to be, and I'm not here. So you see how that curve is in my back? There you're already inclined to roll out kind of in that compromised um, round the back like you would get out of a deadlift position because the way this thing drives you forward kind of puts you in that position. So without further ado, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now I'm not saying this is the right way, the best way, but this is what works for me. If there's better ways out there, please let me know, drop some comments. I'm all about learning new things all the time. So let's get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna walk you through this. First thing you do, get under the bar. Now I press the bar into the rack. It allows me to get everything where I want it to be. No rush on the setup. Getting where I want it to be exactly. Get my feet under, straight under me. Now you see how my bar, the bar is up, kind of rolling back on the shoulders. That'll change as soon as I unrack the bar. But I'm getting my first breath here. I'm getting a belly breath. When I get that air, that's when I make my brace in my upper back as well. So I'm instantly, as soon as I get my breath, my belly breath, I'm going to go from the breath and instantly rip that bar open. And I'm not flaring my elbows, I'm not squeezing my elbows in. I'm just pulling on that bar and my elbows kind of end up where they end up. So, but it's the same every single time. I'm gonna step out, I don't have to walk out far, just clear the rack. Now, when the weight's heavy, I have trouble personally going on the breath I'm racked with, but I don't completely exhale. So when I get where I want to be, short choppy breath, so I'm still squeezing the entire time of rebreathing. I'm never completely exhaling because when you completely exhale, you won't get that real estate back because of the weight. So when I get here, right before I squat, squeeze my butt, squeeze on that breath, and I'm ripping back again. See, I just rolled my shoulders back and squeezed. Now what I'm doing at the bottom here is no different at the top. I'm still squeezing, still trying to keep my back tight and my chest hot. Now as you'll see, my elbows do cloud my legs. That is because I'm really deep. I normally would not try to go this deep, but it happens, especially when I get heavy, because it's heavy. So to help prevent me actually completely folding over in that compromised position as best as I can, I'm still squeezing on that bar. So I'm coming down on that breath, squeezing, and driving back up. You never stop pulling on that bar, there's always tension here. Now I'm gonna show you what that looks like from the back so you can see my back actually getting engaged when I do pry on that bar like I was talking about. You should be able to see is me packing my lats and getting all this tight. My whole entire back, you see my shoulders are on my lats, my shoulder blades, everything's tight. And the goal is to stay that way. Getting out of the bar, get my feet set, get my air, ripping the bar. This motion right here.
That's basically the gist of it, guys. You're just getting under it, getting tight, keeping that back tight as possible, and just trying not to collapse, because especially with this bar, it feels like the hand of God is on the back of your neck trying to push your face into the ground. And uh, it's definitely one of my favorite bars ever. I, uh, I use it more so than anything else. I rarely use a straight bar, um, sometimes the camber, but if, if there's one bar that I'd have to use for the rest of my life, it's hands down gonna be the SSB because it, it helps you in so many areas, your deadlift, your squat. For example, previously, the last time I hit a back squat PR was 475, and at the time, my SSB was 450. So my normal back squat was 25 pounds heavier than my SSB, because SSB is harder. So now, not back squatting, actually back squatting, getting a back squat PR, it's been over a year, and my SSB squat is now 600, an ugly 600, but I stood up with it. So, my back squat off those previous numbers should be significantly heavier, but I don't really care about it. I'm not, I'm not a competitive power lifter, I do strongman, so most time if we're squatting, it's something really big and cumbersome like the big drums or the wagon wheels. So squatting with a normal bar doesn't really give me anything I'm gonna need. Whereas squatting with the SSB will. So that's what I do it that way. Like I said, it's not the end all be all, it's what works for me. Hopefully it works for you. Give it a shot, drop some comments below and let me know how it works out for you guys. Hello. Yeah, huh? What? Who's that little guy? Oh, is this little in like America? Like a chew toy. <laughs> <laughs> a little squeak toy. <laughs> it looks like it's bigger than your head, I think. It's bigger than my head? Yeah. I don't know, I got a big head. <laughs> it's definitely not bigger than your head. Yeah, man. Chrome dome. Yeah. You know, you know what chrome dome means? I don't know. Tell me. Chrome dome. For those of you who don't know, it's when you have no hair and see how shiny it is right there. Yeah. Like chrome, like chrome paint. Well, in Africa, that's a sign of a great man. <laughs> hey, Olu. <laughs> you know you're not in Africa, right? Yeah, <laughs> but I'm an African. <laughs> He's jealous of your beard, that's the problem. Oh, you got beards, man. Leonidas beards. Leonidas beards. I am Greek. Yeah. So, what would yours be, the Black Panther beard? I don't, I'm not the panda, I'm a lion. I said panther, not panda. All right guys, that is all I have for you this week and I know this video was a little bit different than my normal videos. It was a little more informational, uh, a little more how-to-ish and I know that's not normally my style, that's not normally what I go for, but I, I know I have mentioned how I hold the SSB briefly here and there in other videos and to people around me in the gym, so I felt I owed you guys an explanation and how to do it that way. Uh, with the pulling out versus the pushing up or pulling down and the other variants that people do. So, I hope it helps you. If, if I help just one person, that's a win. If, if it does not help you, go out there, do your research. There's so many platforms to get information on and figure out a way that works best for you. That's what I did. I figured out some way that allowed me to squat with an SSB the way I squat with an SSB. Now, if you don't have access to an SSB, just get on a bar and squat. You have to squat. Don't miss out on squatting. If you have to hold the weight in your hands, squat. Uh, SSB is definitely a luxury, but it is my favorite bar, and that's just my personal opinion. Other people might like back squatting better with a normal bar, and that's okay. Whatever floats, your goat. Goats don't float. So as far as next week, I have the Arnold. Uh, so as far as next week, I have the Arnold coming up, and I leave Thursday morning, bright and early. So I may or may not be able to get you guys a video out by the weekend because of me competing and my schedule being all jacked up. So with that being said, look for me early next week when I have time to sit down and edit all the footage from the Arnold and make something of that. And hopefully I don't embarrass myself. I could not be more excited for the opportunity to be out there with those super strong guys. 
It is going to be a great experience. I've been offered a great opportunity by Andy and Brian to come out there and see how things are done with the big boys, and I cannot be more excited. So until then, guys, get out there, get after it, and embrace the suck.